What's up, you guys? This is Godson, and today we're going to do a spotlight on the giant troop in Clash of Clans. Now, to start things off, let's go ahead and take a look at the stats of the giant to see what makes him such a unique troop. And so, coming in at 300 pounds, 6 foot, well, actually, it doesn't say that. But it does say exactly how long it takes to train him, his attack and movement speed, as well as other important information. And judging by the stats he gets at level 6, it's no wonder why people use him as a farming and trophy pushing troop. So if you guys are looking for a way to use the giants, then fear not. Look no further, you've come to the right place. I'm going to be showing you guys two ways how you can use this troop as a farming and trophy pushing unit to help you out in your progress through Clash of Clans. So, the most important thing to know about giants is that they are used as meat shields or tanks to pull enemy fire away from your attackers. Keeping that in mind will put you ahead of the game and also open new doors for how to use this troop. But be careful if you use them as farming units as they do cost a hefty amount of elixir and 5 spaces in your army camps. So you guys, a little while back I did a video called Garcher and that was me basically showing you how I use giants as a trophy pushing unit. But the idea was pretty simple. You just put them out there and throw a heal spell on them, maybe three or four at a time, and then let the archers clean up the rest. This technique actually will last pretty well until you're around masters. Although some people have managed to use them in Champions League as a way of pushing. A word of caution though, be sure you attack only bases with 50% of their buildings outside of their base, as giants are not as strong as golems and cannot take that much enemy fire. When using giants, it's also important to know that they attack enemy weapons. Many players use that to their advantage to lure giants away from their specific target with hidden teslas and traps to get them out of the way. So be sure you do not deploy all your giants at once, but maybe one or two to test out the waters and see where exactly they go. Majority of players actually use giants for farming methods though. As you can see, I have my Town Hall 7 here and I'm going to use them so that I can pick up some gold and help my upgrades. Similar to the trophy pushing method, giants can be used as meat shields or tanks so that your goblins can shoot through walls or archers come from behind and take out the rest of the units that are blocking you. Now I personally did not use giants at all when I was farming just because they are considered tier 2 and have a higher cost in training. However, if you do have the elixir and you need the gold then by all means go for it as they are a safer unit to use if you're trying to get the victory. And finally you guys, because of the speed and size of giants, they are better suited for offense rather than defense and putting them in your clan castle, as wizards and archers tend to take them down pretty easily. So you guys, this has been the spotlight for the giant troop in Clash of Clans. Be sure to subscribe for more tips and gameplay. This is Godson, I'll see you guys next time. Godson out.